Yay! It's um, it's Saturday the twenty seventh. Please ignore, cause um, that is the reason I'm not on my bed. As you can probably tell, this isn't a week long reading vlog. I have done no reading this week. I lie, I've read 50 pages of one book, The Inheritance Games. I was going to read today, before the wedding reception tonight I'm going to, it didn't happen. So, so I had a rethink, um, this vlog will be from today to Sunday night which is the 30th of November, so it'll be a short long weekend vlog I'll call it. Um, and my aim is to read the inheritance games and the devil makes three i'm not going to attend the lamplighters because i don't think i'll have time if i do i'll start it but i'm in no rush i've done my tbr today as well for december films that are the books picked um i would love to complete cleosha this year do i think i'm going to do it only yes oh i'll say yes actually just because I can swap books if needed for some of the prompts or I can double up. I really don't want to though, I just want to plan, I read what I planned. Um, but yeah, that's it. So that should be up, I'm going to put that up Monday, my TBR instead of the vlog and then I'll put the vlog, vlog up Friday and then I'll have an, my normal hours, uh, well hours, <laughs> uh, videos. Um, so yeah, I've read 50 pages of The Inheritance Games. Um, it's okay, it's a quick read. I read them them on like a 20 minute bus journey. I couldn't read on the bus journey back because it was rammed. But what I am going to show you. November the Luma Crate. Um, it arrived today. Um, the postman must have thought I was weird because I had the door in my pyjamas. And I don't wear nightgowns over my pyjamas because I get too warm and it's my house. So I can wear what I want to be comfy. Comfy? Comfy. Um, so yeah, he looks at me a bit weirdly, bless him. Um, but yeah. Oof. Open. Oh gosh, this box looks filled to the brim. So this month's theme is death and fortune. Um, I will obviously have the book open so I can tell you what everything is. I already knew what the book is, so that's not a spoiler. So the first thing I got out of the box was this beautiful book tin absolutely stunning um this is moments you will remember designed by jez hawk um and it is a scorpio races inspired book tin i have another one up on my shelves um i can't remember where what it's in i can't remember what it's inspired by um i think it might be i don't want to say because i'm probably wrong I haven't used it yet, I have ideas to use them, I just need to do stuff. Um, I'm guessing Scorpio Races is by Maggie Stifeter, because there is a quote on the inside. Um, there are moments that you'll remember for the rest of your life, and there are moments that you think you'll remember for the rest of your life. And it's not often they turn out to be the same moment. So a very pretty book tin. So if you don't know, Aluma Crate have started doing a teacup collection, teacup and saucer and they're not drinkable teacups well one some are some aren't but this month is a goddess of retribution inspired teacup um nemesis the greek yeah nemesis uh she was who was against undeserved good fortune and is a perfect deity for our death and fortune box And the artwork is by Niall Grant. So that's the teacup. Ooh, and then that's the plate for the saucer, I should say, for the teacup. I quite like that. So it all goes together like that. Very pretty. Um, I'm just gonna put all this away so you'll have a cut here. Um, so the next thing in the box is Smog's Hoard Fabric book jacket and then it folds over and it goes like that it closes um yeah i like it uh, is that upside down that is that is upside down i'm a little bit of an idiot 
um, that is uh, designed by Puhana. Um, if it feels like I'm rushing it, it's because I am, because um, my friend is waiting for me um, for the wedding reception. Um, so <laughs> the next thing is a She Who Became the Sun metal bookmark reflection. I like that. Um, and that is designed by Danielle. Oof. And then we have an Aluma Crate pin. Pin, pen, I love pens. That'll be on my desk at work. And then we have the Christmas trees, a hanging ornament, which is really nice. Um, the first time you share tea, you are a stranger. The second time you share tea, you are an honoured guest. The third time you share tea, you become family. So that is designed by Renata Krauchik. Then we have the pin. Um, I'm not taking anything out of, out of um, plastic because my friend's waiting. He knows what I'm like though, so he will literally just sat there for like half an hour because he knows me so well. Um, I would invite him in, but my house is a tip, even though he's been in my house with a tip before. Um, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, this is what I would do and I was like, I'll be 20 minutes! I'm really not. Um, so, the, the, so the book for this month is Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Um, there is beautiful spread edges. Um, there, oh, there is the signature's not pasted in, um, so I need to stick that in. I will read you the blurb tomorrow, guys. Um, but that is it, naked. So stunning. Um, so yeah, that's this month's box. Um, I will probably update you tomorrow with some more thoughts. But yeah, bye. First December. Do you think I've got a big enough advent calendar? <laughs> so my friend here. Um, is my advent calendar. This is the Paper Chase 24 Days of Stationery Treats. Wasn't cheap, but after the last two years, I thought I would treat myself. Um, so yeah, I haven't updated you in a while um, about what I've read. I will do that in a minute. So I've just opened door number one. It's not the best present. Notebook. Small notebook. Yay. I no, I'm joking. Um apparently it all adds up to like over I think nearly a hundred pound of stuff, so hopefully there is more better stuff in here, but it's all full size and things. So yeah, a little notebook. Um I think I know what I'm gonna use this for. But I'm not gonna say why because it's personal. So yes. But now for what you came here for. Um, I have finished two books since I last spoke to you. Sorry, I'm just being stuff out of the way. Like I said, I, it's the 1st of December. Um, I didn't read all the books last, I want, last, that I wanted to last month. Um, I didn't get round to Lamplighters. Um, but I had a very stressful last couple of days of December. So December, November. So to finish two books, I was quite happy. So the first one was The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn. Barnet Barnes, about to say Barnet Barnes. Second book of the Inheritance Games um, series or trilogy, I'm not sure. I give it four stars. I like the fact that the twist cleverly changed to twists again, and while they were always red herrings, it they changed to something that was like, oh, I didn't expect that, quite enjoyed it. It kept my attention the whole way through. I love the expansion of the side characters. I want more of that. I want to know more about them. I didn't like the what it felt like false love triangles. Um, one of them, I don't know how it secured because occurred occurred because he just seems like a horn dog, and I'm just like, how have you got all these women? Because there is nothing in my eyes to find you attractive. Um, and the second one, it's a bit like she obviously likes one of them more than the other. I don't know why you're pushing this other one. Um, stay with this one please. So that was the first book. The second book I started and finished was The Devil Makes Three by Tori Bovellino. I did originally give it three stars. I think I'm going to change two and a half. I like the magic. I liked the premise. I did not like the execution. I thought it was a very step-by-step -step YA book, YA fantasy. Um, the big bad 
even though it did bad things i didn't feel the fear i was like oh okay it's obviously gonna happen um it was obvious that the two were going to fall for each other the ending was obvious as well so two and a half stars um even though it is very pretty it is one for the unhaul pile at the end of the year with it being the first of december i will be starting with the vamp lighters by emma sternex this is inspired by real events that happened in cornwall 1970s three men who worked at a lighthouse went missing one night and there has been no trace there was no storm there was nothing the door was locked from the inside so no one knows how these men have gone missing 20 years later i want to say yeah 20 years later, the women left behind by these men are no longer talking to each other, they're split apart, they're no longer friends, even though they should be helping each other. A journalist comes, starts asking questions, and it's trying to uncover what happened that night. Um, so yes, I hope to finish this by Friday. Well, on Friday evening will be best. It is 355 pages. So if I say about 150 pages each night, I could potentially have it finished tomorrow night. Um, but I'm not pushing it. Um, I'm not planning anything for Saturday, so I'm just reading. Um, I'm about two weeks behind on Cleosha. I'm not worrying. I'm, yeah, I'm not worrying. I, I'm normally behind on it. If needed, I've got books that I, instead of having one book for per prompt, I couldn't remember, for one, book, one book for one prompt, I can put but one book to like three or four prompts. I'm not bothered. Um, so I forgot to say what my books prompts wise were for. So the Inheritance Games, the Hawthorne Legacy was for steal a book from someone's TBR. The person had the Inheritance Games on their TBR, I just took that and bended the rules. And for The Devil Makes Free I chose a spooky, it's for a spooky book I should say, because it had devil in the title, it wasn't spooky. And Lamplighters is for a book with gold, silver or bronze on the cover. Um, like I said, so I technically should be on prompts 13, 14 and 15. Lamplighters is for prompt 7. I've read prompt 8 and prompt 9. I've read prompt 12, which is a free space. I've read prompt 21. So technically I am on target. Numbers are book wise. I'm just not on target prompt wise. But you know what? we move um yeah i just need to get a crack on this week if i can read four books this week i will be happy because i have a few chonkers coming up i actually looking at them because i have my books up there i have three chonkers one after the other why do i do this to myself um so saturday i think maybe a 24 hour readathon day but yeah um, i'm hoping to get my tbr video up for december tonight or tomorrow but i'm still trying to catch up on things i haven't done my reading journal um yeah it's been fun i also need to wrap for santa for christmas so yes that's that and um, but i will update you tomorrow with what my next advent calendar surprise will be um and yeah um a update on where of what I've read that'll help. I just realised on the back it says what this can include, so it includes a five pound paper chase voucher, always good because that's where I get my reading journals from. A twenty twenty two diary, notebook, pens, pencils, sticky notes, and many more stationary delights. So, what's number two like? How big is it? Is it small? Because there's a couple of small ones on here. Number two, why can I not I found twenty two? I found six. Two's a small finish one sign going pen or pencil. But I'll let you know tomorrow. Saturday evening. I'm not even halfway through the one plighters. I think I'm going to have to DNF because it's I I I'm not liking the way the story is laid out. You've got six POVs. Six and the that wouldn't be so bad except the interview portion of where the women are talking to this journalist 
oh it is just literally like almost like one big there are like punctuations but it's almost like one big like, monologue there's no questions there's no nothing the there's these parent big secrets and one of them's been kind of revealed and i was literally just like how and half the time i'm thinking why are these characters together um well i'm interested in the like story that this is based off of the three lamplighters that did generally go missing one night i this does not make me want to look into it this makes me actually not want to look into the story and that's not what i want to happen um so i am dnfing um luckily i do have another book for gold silver or bronze coming up it's actually um she who became the sun if you see my tbr video you'll know i got the shiny illumicrate version and there is gold in the front so i'm good um so i can cover that um but i am still like two weeks behind on where i should be for clear your shit um we're not doing D, &D tomorrow two of our group have tested potentially positive for covid so we are not meeting up this week probably not meeting up next week so i have weekends to catch up um, I do have to go pick up a delivery because Royal Mail are a-holes. Um, I had, um, I arranged a delivery for a Christmas present to come here. It's from Boots. I wasn't in on the Monday because of reasons. Um, so I asked for a re-delivery today and they tried to re-deliver it every day during the week. And every time I go to re-deliver, it's like, oh, you've already done it, check your emails. I was awake at half seven this morning. Half past eight, I get a text. Oh, we tried to deliver, but no one's at home. I heard nothing. Like, my street is so quiet in the morning on a weekend because everyone's literally so tired after work and school that we just stay inside. It's great. I heard not one car door open. I saw no Royal Mail van and no one knocked on my door. But apparently, I missed their delivery. So, a complaint has gone in. So, tomorrow, I need to go get that Christmas present and potentially put a complaint in person because I don't mean to be a Karen but seriously I've asked for something and you've not delivered it what else am I to do um so maybe I ran over that being said my plan this weekend to start and finish three books potentially four if I somehow get around to it will I most likely not will I even start and finish two or three most likely not I'm probably going to be two but i want to go for three so next week i'm only two weeks behind still not three well technically a week but yeah um because i'll have next week anyway um yeah what book am i picking up next um i think it will be redemptor um so it'll either be redemptor uh i think it probably will be that one or it will be one of my big ones um but i'm not going to put a picture of them up there because there's so many of them uh, but I will update you later tonight as to what it is I start and finish. Um, but yeah, I, do you know what? I might not even go in order because of some books on my TBR where I'm like, I want them now. Because I know they'll be quick, easy reads. Well, not easy, but I can probably get through them in like five hours apiece. Um, so I may just not go with the prompts. Which is something I wasn't trying to do this year, but I may have to just to make up time. But let's see. Um, so yeah, I will update you when I... Oh, I need to update you also on my advent calendar. Duh. Um, I've opened up four doors. Um, where are they? So, a couple of things I'm happy with, a couple of things I'm not happy with. So I got my little booklet that's over there. Like, over the 2nd of December, we got little mini gel pens, which I think are pretty cool. And I'm going to try and use them in my book journal next year. Um, I then got, for day number three, a to-do list, which is something i desperately need in both my work life and booktube life um and then today's which i think are pretty adorable so today's the fourth rose gold highlighters and you can't really see the colors but they match the pens and i think that's pretty cool so i'm gonna try and incorporate them somewhere in my um, book journal again i'm not sure where or how but let's see. I may have just thought of an idea how to incorporate them. It what works with too many numbers. Never mind me. Um. So yes. 
so that's my update on everything so far um so yes i in conclusion um for this update i am dnfing the lamp lighters i may not unhaul it i may just keep it and try again next year for an unhaul project i am thinking of doing that copying becca and steph i i copy everyone let's be honest um so but it's definitely dnf for the moment um and yeah i will then update you with what i pick up sometime today um but I, it is about half five and I am still in pyjamas from last night. I've had a very lazy day today. And well, I say lazy, I've been tidying and getting my room ready for Santa's grotto wrapping. Um, yeah, so again, I will, little tangent over, um, I will update you when I have picked up a book and probably when I have finished it. 20 past 11 Saturday. Um, I didn't read Redemptor. <laughs> I had the start of a headache, so I just wanted to read something that I knew I could get through tonight. And this was a mystery slash thriller. I can read them within three hours. Um, it's 387 pages, or 385, I think. It's something along, something along that line. And I started at half eight, and I finished it five minutes ago a good pick for me um i at the moment it's a four star book i am thinking it may go down to a three and a half um basically a girl gets um gets a call from her best friend who's an archaeologist in the orkney isles at the moment in scotland wanting some help she goes there she can't find her it's about that mystery set over one long weekend which i quite liked um i love the description of the orkney isles Isles. I love the description of the Orkney Isles. Um, I love Scotland. I've done a 10 day trip out there with my friend a few years ago. I'm going back to Edinburgh for a week next year and Orkney Isles is somewhere I would love to go. However, at the moment it's not feasible, but it's definitely something I want to explore and I love the description of that. I loved the dynamic between the characters and um, even though some of them you only saw it for a short amount of time, you kind of felt all the feelings straight away. It didn't matter they didn't have a hundred page backstory. You kind of knew it was yeah, you kinda of knew it was laid out how everyone felt about each other, which I quite liked. Um on that half I did feel like this friendship between these best friends was a bit stretched. Um it was more like close friends rather than best friends, however I understood the relationship. And why they would class each other as that. Um, the, the, the ending, how everything came about, was obvious. Um, but I liked the journey there. So do you know what? I'm going to leave it at four stars. That was a prompt twenty, which was a book with water themes. Um, book number wise, I'm only one week or three books behind where I should be for Cleosha. Prompts wise, I am six books behind, but my aim for tomorrow is to just read two books, so I am just three books behind and then hope that I can smash out some books pretty quick because I have a few big ones on my shelves and I would dedicate tomorrow to a big one, but I've got to go pick my delivery up. So I'm going to go do my book journal. And then I will update you tomorrow with what I end up reading, hopefully. Bye. Please ignore mess behind. Um, it is 10 to 8, no, 10 to 9 on Sunday. I finished Redemptor. Um, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. I know people have given it five stars and it is a good book. It is a good book. The storytelling is fantastic. It flows from where it left off. It... It, it sums it up really nicely, wraps up in a nice little bow. There's just something at the end, which I think some people should know what it is. I was like, no, I understand this person has been hard done by, but no, they do not get a redemption arc, if you want to call it that. They do not get that. I like how some of the story, well, I like how majority of the stories have been wrapped up, so... You know that majority of them have done completed, but some of them have little strands left, so can continue if needed. But yeah, four and a half stars. 
Um, I'm going to read another book tonight. I think I'm going to start The Split of the one by Laura Sebastian. It's probably going to be The Split by Fiona Bolton just because I think I can get through half of that tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go update my journal and then start reading that. Hi, um, very sweaty Shelley here coming from the kitchen and it is ten past nine Sunday. Um, I decided to not start The Split. Um, you can probably hear saucepans i need to do lunch for the week and tomorrow um and i just realized that steph and jade have sprints tomorrow for um the re a readathon I, I think it's a festive readathon i've not joined it so i don't really know and i think i can get through the split in a night um and actually checking the um my little board where is it um some checking at my board for um Clay or shit, technically I'm only still a week behind um, because I read forward and I can count and there's a mystery space and two free spaces and then a boss battle still to come. I'm okay because basically next week will be prompt 16, 17, 18 which is an intimidating book, mystery prompt, free space, um, free space I should say. Anything I've read that can class that be, that can be classed that mystery prompt, I'm doing it. I'm not forcing myself to read another book. Um, the free space, I will just chuck the split in for that. Um, and the week after, it's prompts 19, 20, 21. 20 and 21 I've already read. So technically that week I only need to read prompt 19. And then the last week is a free space, 23. Prompt 23, I've already got a book down. And then 24 is boss battle. Um, so yeah, I should be good, um, especially when I'm, I'm working from home two days the next week so I'm looking after the nephew and here's the thing, while I'm looking after him I don't tend to watch a lot of YouTube videos because he's always watching his and I don't want him to hear some of the naughty words coming out of mine, swearing, not anything else, um, so yeah, so I'm good, I should be able to read another three or potentially four books next week because I don't think we'll be doing um, D&D because the with the person with well potentially two people with COVID in the group. Um so yeah. I should be good, she says. And next week I am saying to myself I will if even if I don't finish if I well if I finish the split, I need to read at least hundred and fifty pages, if not two hundred pages a night. Because me not reading during the week and then cramming at the weekend is not working. And that needs to be, I think, a little goal to myself for next year. I'm already thinking of next year. When this year I'm already failing my readathon. But I think this is the thing I think also doesn't help. That because I've reached my Goodreads goal, I'm like, oh, I've reached it. I don't need to bother. And it's like, Michelle, you need to read. I'm not going in to 2022 with oh, nearly 120 books I've read. At the moment, I'm at 103. So this should take me into the night is this readathon and then obviously I have whatever I get for Christmas. Which is why any books that I get between the week of Christmas and New Year I'm passing to the January buys. Um so yeah that's it, so that's the wrap up for this vlog. Um not the vlog I thought it would be obviously two weeks combined, but I think two weeks or it's a week in the buy, I can't remember. Um but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this mad rabble of reading but until next time bye guys